Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where we are going to discuss about a very fascinating concept of calling a function called recursion or recursive function. Recursion or recursive function is a unique way to deal with a function. Conceptually, a recursive function means you are calling the function from the function itself. For example, you have a function test like this and you are calling the function test from itself. But if you call the function this way, it will keep on calling and will be kind of an endless process. So whenever you see a recursive function, you do have a condition which stops the calling of a function. Let's try a simple program to display 1 to 10 using recursive function. We name the function display number. Now this function is going to take one variable say for example x. Because I am implementing recursion, I am going to call the function from the function itself. Of course, there will be one more call of a function from the main program. Now, we want to try displaying 1 to 10 using recursion. So, we should have a condition which will end the calling of the function. So, here I will say if x is greater than 10, I just want to come out of the loop. Otherwise, I want to display the value of x and also I am going to call the x after incrementing x by 1. So, here I am calling the function where I am passing the value of x. Now the only thing remaining is we need to call the function by passing value 1. Let's try to understand what will happen in this case. First time when the main program runs this dn function will be called and value 1 is passed to variable x in the function as a parameter. Then x will be checked. Is it greater than 10? It's not. So it's going to go to the else part of it. Now value of x will be displayed because we are displaying x. So output is going to be 1 because we passed x when we called the function for the first time. Now we are incrementing x by 1. And then we are calling the function itself. So because x is incremented by 1, now it is 2. And again the function itself is calling it. So dn is called with value 2. So when this function is called, 2 is passed here. Then again 2 is not greater than 10. So it's going to go in the else part and it will display 2 here. Again we are incrementing 2 by 1. So now x is 3 and 3 is passed to the function here. This will keep on repeating unless it reaches 11. When x is 11 it will come out of this function. Let's try to run this and see how the output looks. As you can see now that output is 1 to 10 but we have used the recursive function. You must remember that whenever there is a recursion you have to take care of the condition otherwise it will be an endless process. So make sure that whichever process you write, whichever program you write with recursion you should have condition defined with proper logics.